Everybody's got to start somewhere, man. Give Macavina a warm welcoming onto the stage. Later, Macavina. Yeah. yeah. It's like the illest shit you heard come out of envy. Doing this since way before they ever rocked the enemies. Keep the drive going, homie, till the tank is empty. Truth is hard to swallow like you're trying to juggle pen. Students, you're the master. How about coming with the technique? Me and the spike, yeah, we something like some besties. All these other rappers come in slop like my testies. My name is Trixie the Golden Witch, and this is my interview series where I talk to musical artists and try to introduce them to you, the audience. And first, I ask them to introduce themselves. So, my name is Macavina, that's my artist name. I'm uh, coming out of Elko, Nevada, originally born in Baja, California. But yeah. I'm most famous for being one of the world's biggest anime fans, so I have to start by asking you, what's your favorite anime? Dude, Dragon Ball Z, homie, all day. That's like the only anime I've ever watched, to be honest, but... It's fine. Yeah, Dragon Ball Z is like... Who's your favorite character? Goku, bro, what do you mean? Just straight OG Goku's all the way. like the strongest one out there, bro, like, <laughs> untouchable. Absolutely. So what was the first thing that inspired you to start creating music? Oh man, all right. So if I'm being like completely honest, it was my uncle named Kido. I was like, probably like seven years old, man. And he was rapping. He just had like a little microphone set up with his computer at my grandma's house. And we were just kids hanging around and he asked us, he's like, you guys wanna, wanna record something? So I was like, yeah, dude. I wrote down some lines. I actually still have these recordings, man, from when I was like, seven eight years old but it was my uncle yeah he was like the the first person to put me in front of something like that that's sick yeah um so how is the place that you claim is your hometown influenced the way that you write and perform oh man i've seen i feel like i grew up a little bit different than most people around here but just my family dude i got a lot of family here and things that they've been through like influenced me a lot a lot it's mainly my family dude if i'm being honest okay um so what do you wish you had known about being in the music business three years ago three years ago i wish i would have known that huh that's a good one let's see the the better the quality of your music is like if you have bad quality music, people just tend to turn it off. You could be like the dopest rapper out here. If your music has bad quality, people are just gonna like immediately be turned off. So I would have told myself like, just work on getting the best quality possible. Okay. What's your favorite thing about being a part of the world of hip hop? I just love how I can express myself, show people like who I am, where I'm from, just self expression. Just, it's amazing, bro, being able to express yourself through music and have like people connect and relate. Like this all came together, you know, just from me getting up there, showing you guys who I am, telling you guys parts of my story. Yeah, I just think self-expression, man, that's definitely it. What do you consider to be the core messages of your lyrics? So, just, focus on being the best version of yourself and growing and my message that i'm doing my best to translate through my music is that when you put god first he'll take care of the rest man just put god first like truly humble yourself in god's eyes and he will take care of you and he will take you so far man who are your top five favorite rappers of all time Oh, dude, it's probably different all the time, but right now off the top of the head, Tupac is definitely up there. Kendrick Lamar is up there. I like Mac Miller a lot, man. He's definitely up there too. J. Cole uh, would be the fifth one. I want to say Russ, dude. I listen to Russ a lot. Right? He's influenced my music a lot too. If I'm being honest. Who's an artist that you would work with immediately if they hit you up right now? Probably Russ. Hey, Not hey. even gonna lie. I, I, this might tie right into that answer, but who do you think are the most underrated artists? Underrated? 
Dude, there's so many, bro. I listen to a lot of underground artists. Like, there's this guy named Dot Demo from New York. This guy named Radimus from New York. I listen to a lot of New York underground artists. Like, uh, Don Michael. Yeah, dude. Oswin Benjamin. That's a big one. If you guys don't know who Oswin Benjamin is, I highly recommend you guys listen to his music. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite thing to do off stage? Um, probably eat. I like to eat. I like to go to the gym too. I like to work out and stay healthy and stuff. All that, all that good stuff. What living legend do you think deserves more love? Living legend, dude. So I don't know if you guys know about brain sick music. You guys ever heard of Twisted Insane? Yeah. Yeah, he's like, he runs that label. But this guy named C Ray that is on there, he's like, he's my, basically my engineer at this point. But this dude is so talented, man. He's literally like the most underrated artist I've ever witnessed in my lifetime, bro. For real. That's how I feel about my producer, Cranberry Dave. Cranberry yeah. Dave, shout out to Cranberry Dave. I'm living oh, to yeah. get his name out there now. I'm Hopefully like we could work, here. man. Tell him to send me some work, bro. I will. I will absolutely do that. Um, are there any shout outs you want to give? Yeah, man. Shout out to my family. Let's see. I'll try to name them all off. Shout out to my younger brother, Rico. My younger brother, Chris. My older brother, Anthony. My younger sister, Gotti. My mom, my dad. All of my cousins, Vanessa, Carlos, Eric, Erica, Nadina. All my family, bro. Shout out to all my family. And shout out to all the homies. Shout out to C-Fade. Shout out to Jesse, J-Ray, DJ Yuckmouth. Shout out to Ilza Kill. Shout out to Zelda. All the hometown artists, bro. Shout out to all them. Uh, where can we see you and find your stuff? I'm everywhere, dude. If you guys look up Macavina, M-A-K-A-V-I-N-A, -A I'm on every single platform. Spotify, Apple, YouTube, SoundCloud, everything. You can Where find you me anywhere. Live, uh, next. I think we're planning another show here soon in like the summer, around the summer. Yeah. And then after that, Ilza Kill's going on tour. I don't know if like this will be out by then. I'll just cut this stuff if necessary. Yeah, but Ilza Kill's going on tour soon and it'll be my first tour actually. He's taking me with him. Dope, dude. Touring is dope. Uh, I basically uh, produced, like, managed the tour uh, last year with Twistello. We did like 15 shows. Dude. St. Louis up to Seattle. Like, that shit was crazy. It'd though. be dope if we could do something like that, man. For real. Touring stuff. No, that's definitely. Like, I'm so excited to hit the road and just like see new cities and meet new people. Oh, well, that, uh, was the, that was the last question. Cool. Do you like so. an outro? We don't have an outro for this show. <laughs> I'll do the uh, outro, man. Yeah, that's fine. Shout out to my homie Trixie right here for Yo. the dope interview. They're just getting started, but man, this is something special. Shout out to the man behind the camera, Ooh. Riley. Big shouts out to these guys, man. I, what you guys are doing, I think, is very important, and I appreciate you guys for doing this for real. Thank shout you. out to you guys, man.